I want to talk to you about the strongest force in our universe because it's currently holding together tiny particles that make up everything around us. And the experiment I'm working on called ALICE, which is at the Large Hadron Collider, wants to free these tiny particles for just a fraction of a second so we can understand this force better. So to cope with the idea that everything's made of tiny particles, we need to zoom in, zoom in a little bit. So, here is my attempt at an atom. Everything in our universe is made up of atoms. At the centre, you've got a nucleus which is made up of um, positively charged protons. This is my proton. And then around the outside, doing something like this, we have electrons which have a negative charge. And this happens because of something called the electromagnetic force. You see, the opposite charges are attracted to each other. Now, you've seen this force before in things like magnets. So you have opposite poles will attract each other, and light poles will repel each other. And so this electromagnetic force is actually holding our atoms together. So you would think, perhaps, is that the strongest force in our universe? Well, the answer is no. We know this because in our nucleus of these atoms where we have more than one proton, then these protons are still being held in this tiny, tiny nucleus. And so there must be something stronger than the electromagnetic force, because otherwise they would be being repelled just like the like poles of magnets will be. And so what is this force? Well, it's called the strong force. It's a very original name. And, um, well, we, to understand it, we have to go back in time, billions of years, right back to the millionth of a second after the Big Bang. Okay, this is my... Uh, big bang, okay? And inside this proton, what we have are these little tiny quarks. These are the particles that I mentioned earlier. And in this environment, in the, early, in the very early universe, a millionth of a second after the Big Bang, the whole universe was crammed into something that was only a few kilometers across. And the temperatures were something like a million times hotter than the sun. And so these quarks had a lot of energy, so they were free to move around. What we don't understand is how these quarks somehow got combined into that big proton. And um, another thing we don't understand is that this big proton actually weighs something like 50 times more than these quarks put together do. These are questions that we really want to answer about the strong force. And to do that, well, Alice is going to do something quite incredible. We need to reproduce those temperatures. You know, a trillion degrees we're talking about here. This is a really extreme environment. And to do that, we need to smash together heavy, heavy nuclei, things with lots and lots of protons in, with lots and lots of energy, and when we do that, we can reproduce these temperatures, free these quarks again for just a small fraction of a second, and then we can try and understand the strong force. And when we do that, sometime next year, hopefully, then we will be able to actually be the hottest thing that this universe has seen since the dawn of time.